You've probably seen these videos online. Today we are launching an investment project that is working right now if you see this video. Absolutely everyone can earn in it, everything. Every investor will receive a profit. I believe this is a historic moment for the entire country. And quantum computing algorithms analyze market trends, make strategic investment decisions. All fake. In 2023, cases of deep fake surged by a whopping 1,530% within the Asia Pacific. With Singapore seeing a 500% increase compared to 2022. Deep fakes are now being used to revolutionize all tricks in financial scams, even kidnapping scams, where the victim is deep faked. Let me tell you something. You don't have to work to be rich. If you figure that out, even Talking Point was not spared. This supposed interview between former host Shada Harrison and socialite Jamie Chua never took place. This was the real interview. And from there, they will forward the messages onto the telco. And the original interview was about how bank scams are executed. Certainly not about investment strategies. And definitely no Jamie there. But how was this but who would even work done? In restaurants, stores, or factories if everyone were wealthy. In this episode of Talking Point, I delve into the world of deep fakes to find out just how real they are becoming because seeing is no longer believing. Ori Sasson has been in the cybersecurity realm for over a decade, assessing AI-related risks for companies. A millionaire in less than two months. So how was this deep fake video made? Because in the original one, I mean, Shada was actually interviewing someone else, not Jamie. The starting point is we have a fake article, okay? Yep which was made by somebody who wants to attract people to invest. In the article, we have a text of what she's supposedly saying, and we have a screen capture of what appears to be a talking point interview. Now, what we want to do is to try to mimic what they're doing here. Right, so when we do this, I think there's two components. Take the video of Sharda with another person, then we can remove the other person and install another video clip of Jamie Chua, right? Yeah. In order for Jamie to say the lines that she never did, we need to first clone her voice. Once that is done, we will just have to input the script we want her to say. Next, it will be lip syncing using AI. We will sync her lip movements to match the words, as well as her facial movement. If they find out how I do it, the whole country could suffer. Think about it. Why did they choose to use someone like Jamie? I believe the reason is that when a person has a lot of following online, uh, they are seen to be wealthy, to be successful, then it would be more reasonable to listen to them when they dispense investment advice or recommend okay. a product. And at the same time, it is easier to find a lot of footage online of this person. Are all deepfake videos made the same way? No, because different videos would have different types of content, just like when we bake a cake, you know. So in this case, we took an interview, we removed the person and planted another person. Sometimes you just have a person talking, let's mm -hmm. say it's a politician and he's uh, giving a speech. Yeah. So we can just change what he's saying and make it look realistic. That is why we have reduced the minimum investment amount to $250. Deep fake refers to creating content, audio or video. Yeah to basically make that person do something or say something that he actually never did. And how advanced are deep fakes today? Deep fakes are quite advanced today and we can create very believable videos and audio. And the key thing is that this is accessible to anyone because you can find free software online, paid software online. And I believe that in the near future, it will even become more realistic and easier to generate. With just a few digital assets of Jamie Chua found online, Ori was able to recreate the deepfake scam video of Talking Point. I think people need to see this for themselves. So I'm taking what I've learned to the streets. I've planned a little experiment. Helping me out is Gabriel Z. Even with four years of computing school under his belt, He's still being fooled by deep fakes. We're uh, doing a show and we're just getting some feedback from people, um, asking them about their fitness routine. So we're doing a show and we want to get people's input on your favourite food here in Singapore. I need to do a self-introduction, look straight into this camera and sort of 
say who you are, your name. Hi, my name is Gary. I'm 37 years old this year. I'm working in the healthcare industry. Hi, my name is Herna. I'm a freelance uh, yoga and Pilates instructor and I also teach a uh, HIIT bootcamp. My favourite food when I come here, uh, definitely roti prata is number one. And uh, the Hainanese chicken rice. So we managed to get three people on board for this, but what they actually don't know is that we're going to deep fake them. The video is ready, so if you can just come back. This is you. Uh -huh. I earned six figures in just a week and all my friends have been jealous and they have been asking me how I managed to earn this much. Well, you can simply click on this link to find out how I did it. It is truly the easiest and fastest way to earn money. That's not what I said. That's not what you said? That's not what I said. Sure, it looks like that's what you said. Uh, no, that's not what I said. Okay. I remember what I said. Okay. <laughs> I earned six figures in just a week. And all my friends what? have been jealous. They have been asking me how I managed to earn this much. Well, you can simply that's click on this untrue. link to find out how I did it. But it's you. It, sounds, <laughs> it looks like it's you and it sounds like you oh, think. Oh, it is me. Yes, yeah, it is yeah. Me. I earned six figures in just a week and all my friends have been jealous and they've been asking me how I managed to earn this much. Well, you can simply click on this link to find out how I did it. Uh, no, that was not. How do you feel seeing yourself so easily manipulated, making you say things that you never actually said? It's kind of worrying. Usually okay. I only read okay. this in the news and all that, but this is the first time, oh my goodness, that's my own face and my voice. And the thing is, I made this clip just using two online websites. Wow. It sounds like, like you. It sounds like me, yeah. Seriously, it's really credible. Like, okay. I, if this is the first time I'm watching this, yeah. I may easily yeah. believe it. Yes. And are you worried now that you've seen this? Yes. I've never like paid any attention to all these like scams and mm. like, uh, like you said, deep fake. Okay. But since you've shown me how easy it okay. is to do so, yeah, I'm really worried now. It's technology. I'm very worried. Yeah, I mean, if, if, if there is no technology to counter measure those things, whether it's real or fake, then it could really mislead people. So all it took Gabriel was just two types of software available online. One was to clone the voices, the other was to have the lip sync with the scripted lines we had given. Now, my experiment is over, but just to be on the safe side, I'm going to delete all the deepfakes we created. It is not just these people who got duped by me. I've got another twist to reveal. And the hint is in the first interview. Once that is done, we will just have to input the script we want her to say. Remember this segment of the interview Jamie with Ori explaining alliance, how he recreated the deep fake? Clone her voice. Once that is done, we will just have to input the script. Well, this I, was the uh, actual interview. Sorry, today I came back from Dubai. Okay, so two days ago, they had a huge rain there. Okay, like really, really Ori was actually yeah. talking about the weather in Dubai. Yeah. But with a few that, quick clicks of the mouse, he lip syncing using AI. We will sync her lips. He's now talking about how Jamie's voice can be cloned. That's right. Gabriel and I pulled off a deep fake interview, and it was all done with the same software readily found online. When we did the Orchard Road social experiment, yeah. we only used the free trials or the free version okay. of the softwares that were available online. Right. We didn't even start using wow. the premium ones. What's the difference? Essentially, you get access to more powerful models. And what that means is that they have trained it on perhaps more types of data, different types of demographics of data, because okay. perhaps if you're training on an American data set, it might not generalize right. well on an Asian data set. Uh, so basically, when you pay for the premiums of some of these softwares, it actually gives you even better quality deep fakes. What you're saying is even with the free software, we were able to make videos that were fairly convincing already. Imagine if we use the paid one, which is more sophisticated, I'm sure we could bluff yes, definitely. more people, right? And I think it's a really important point that with 60 to 70% quality, it's really enough to fool yeah. majority of Singaporeans or mm. people around us, right? 
And that could also be really dangerous the moment you share links around. Because once you are fooled, it gives yeah. it, it, it opens the door for others to be fooled as well. So how then can I tell if a video is real or fake? The clearest yeah. one would be the lip movement. So the lip sync in that sense. Exactly. Does the lip actually match what they are saying? A lot of times they may not fully 100% match the entire conversation. Another way to look out for deep fakes is actually to see how well the mouth matches the face. In order for Jamie to say the lines that she never So said. at some point in time in the videos, you actually see that the mouth just becomes a bit more disoriented or it becomes like a weird fit on, okay. on your face, right? And that's also another visual cue. Using see this? That's an obvious distortion. Now, because of how small these screens are, it's tough for us to spot the little details that give away a deep fake video. I mean, think about it. How often do we even pay attention to how someone's lips are moving when they're on screen? There are other reasons why we fall so easily for deep fakes, and it's got nothing to do with viewing these videos on our small screens. My student once made a deep fake of me speaking in Spanish. I sent it to my mother and she asked me, when did you start learning Spanish? Hola, ¿cómo estás? Entonces estoy probando esto a través de algunos algoritmos que traducirían cualquier cosa que diga a un idioma de mi elección sin perder mi voz o estilo de comunicación. I was told that even if the quality of the deep fake is so bad, there are still people falling for it. Why is that the case? There are multiple reasons why people will fall for uh, such deep fakes even when they are bad. First is of course confirmation bias. Especially when it comes to politics, uh, we want to push our own agenda. Most of the deep fakes are based on controversial topics. Uh, so they are created to arouse emotions in you and not allow you to do rational thinking. Because right. when we invest in rational thinking, we will make correct decisions. But when it's about emotion, so let's say it, if, if it evokes anger, fear, you're going to respond immediately to it. Especially when it comes to human faces, our early evaluations are made at the neural level. That's what research suggests. So it's very difficult to override that cognitive. Look at this image. What do you think? This is a picture of... A reporter interviewing someone with a bunch of rubble on the back, like maybe a scene of where there's an accident or war. Yeah, but this is entirely generated. Oh! It's a deep fake. It's totally fake? Yes, every part of it. Everybody and everything in yes. it is fake? Yes. Wow, okay. Nothing would trigger me to think that it's a fake. Yes, some people may fall for it. Who are these some people? I mean, I get stuff from my mum all the time, which is fake news. So the older folks? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true. It's actually Gen Z's, particularly the age of 21 to 27. These videos are controversial or based on a topic which has been trending. So they want to be part of that conversation, so they for forward it to the friends, family and post it. That's one, but also because they want to be social influencers, to influence the social media feed and want to be recognized. So we observe that they are the ones who are posting it. The research suggests that if you get exposed to a defect enough number of times, yeah. repeatedly, you're more likely to believe it. Okay. This may not happen with everyone, but some part of the population, we refer to it as illusory truth effect, suggesting that if you repeat a lie enough number of times, it becomes the truth. Steve, here's the more complicated issue. Uh, we realize that not all defects are made without the consent of individuals. So take the case of uh, Messi, I think around two years ago, okay. Lionel Messi. Uh, there was a public campaign ad where you could go to a website, input your information, like your name, and then Messi would invite you to watch a game. My friend Steven has invited us to watch the game on Wednesday. So that's an example of a defect where you have the consent of the individual for a public campaign ad. Increasingly, some people, including celebrities, are allowing themselves to be deep faked. What's up? My friend Steven has invited us to watch the match on Wednesday. I hope I can make it. Precious metals have maintained their value over time. But he is not the only one.
I have been digitally swapping faces since 2009. Some days I want a presidential look. Not bad, eh? But most days, I prefer my own natural face. This is Cheren Sim. He's been keeping a close eye on the latest advancements in deep fakes. I have a few videos. They may be real, they may be fake. Ah. And I'd like you to see if we can see okay. the Pop difference. Quiz, Ken. Yes, let's All right. go. Totally oversaturated. California, Southern California in particular, is not used to these massive deluges. They actually began just before the new year. We've had a wet sponge comments. I think this one is so fake. Water it can hold. Okay, you're right. <laughs> this is fake. <laughs> yes, okay. yes. yes of leaking troves of classified documents in recent years on some private social media channels has been taken into custody by law enforcement officials. According this to one's hard to tell. To NBC News. Okay, and I would say this is real. We You're right again. This oh, is real. okay. Yes. Few and months goes, then 2024 is going to bring about doing positive changes. <laughs> Let's drink away 2023. <laughs> it does sound like a night, you know. Uh, okay, but I'm going to say this is fake. Okay, Cheers. you're partially correct. Oh, because this is actually a partial fake. So most of the oh. video is actually real. We okay. twist certain words. It's easier for the attacker to just fake a few words it's harder for the viewer to detect. So yes, I have one more video for you to watch. Now the Chinese internet, it has developed in both familiar and unfamiliar ways. Just like in Silicon Valley, some of the seismic shifts in technology and consumer behavior. This, this is fake. I mean, it's, it's me, it's my face on somebody else's body. I know the body's not mine. Right. Right, you know? <laughs> because I'm far more sexy, but anyway. Right. <laughs> you may be surprised that this was just done using one still photo of you. That's Which right. Which you were able to make into a video. That's Wait a minute, right. my, my lips were moving, right? Just like in Silicon Valley, some of the seismic shifts... In okay, I'm looking at my eyes now. I'm blinking too. I even raised my eyebrows. How was that done? So that's the latest advancement. There are tools out there now uh, that can take a still photo of mm. the target. So in this okay. case, we got it from one of your social media. Okay. Page, right, which is easily available. Sure. And then we need what is called a driving video. What's that? Uh, so the one providing the new uh. action. So it could be anybody. In this yep. case, it's uh, somebody giving the TED Talk. Right, and I guess and you would new... try and find someone who's about my size, stature, mannerisms, That's right. somewhat similar. That's right. right, so that makes the job a lot easier. Just like in Silicon Valley, some of the seismic shifts in technology and consumer behavior have been driven by academic uh, research, have been driven... But how do you get my face to move? It's all in the magic of mm. this AI tool that we're using. The pre-training took over a week. Okay. Now, by pre-training, I mean that this machine learning model okay. has to see many, many faces and videos of other people and then learn how the face would move, how the lips would move okay. and so forth. The idea now is that you train it once and then you're good to go for any new target that you wish. Right. Just a still photo of your new target, plonk it on and within minutes... That's right. So within minutes, we get your face but we're still missing your voice. Ah. The voice has to be separately deep fit. To do that, we use a model that is uh, tuned for voices, provided with about 15 minutes of your speech audio. Okay. And then it went through a period of training again okay. to, to learn your style of speaking, your, the tone of your voice. Now, the Chinese internet, it has developed in both familiar and unfamiliar ways. Now, the Chinese internet, it has developed in both familiar and unfamiliar ways. So far up to now, most of the deep fakes in the past have been of talking heads. Yep. And by that, I mean a close-up shot mm -hmm. of the person, like okay. facing the camera, giving an interview. But these days now, we are moving towards full body deep fakes mm. with hand gestures and the body turning around. Okay. So that will be the next generation of deep fakes and that would make it even more believable. How worried should I be about all this? When we move from the talking head to a full body yep. uh, video, then the action could be anything and that could be even more uh, dangerous. So for example, you can imagine a deep faking you mm. performing an action that is deemed hateful or offensive by a certain minority group right. or religious group. That's right. 
Honestly, it is worrying to think that deep fakes will evolve from not just putting words into my mouth or replacing my face with someone else, but imagine if I can be deep faked into committing a crime I never did. While deep fakes are more commonly associated with scams, some celebrities are seeing it as a huge business opportunity. A familiar face to many who watched her growing up. Remember they gave me something from London. Jamie Yeo is a local actress, but recently we are seeing her in these. As precious metals have maintained their value over time, they are often viewed as a safe haven asset. Well, that's her too, just not her words. I am meeting the man behind these videos. What made you guys decide to deepfake Jamie Yeo for your videos? We don't like to use the word deepfake. We say a synthetic AI version of her. Jamie is, is based in the UK right now. Mm -hmm. And today, uh, there are so much information that we want to convey to our clients. To get her into the studio every other day to do recording is just simply not cost efficient. They are considered lower risk investments compared to stocks or cryptocurrencies. In this case, she's not actually really saying those words. You are putting those words quite literally in her mouth. What we'll do is we spend half a day with Jamie. Yeah. In the studios, she's recorded her features, her expression, her voice. And with that, uh, we use AI to power a synthetic AI version of her. So what we do is that when we key in the, the text and the script, she will be portrayed as speaking those words, okay. just like she would do in real life. So by having her say those things in her image and her voice, she's effectively endorsing your product. And people who are not aware that that's like an AI version of her would believe it, right? Won't your audience feel a bit cheated by that? We don't try to impersonate uh, the videos as being the real Jamie. We maintain a very open uh, way of telling our clients that, hey, this is an AI version of uh, Jamie. With all our information and our videos are shared with her. There's a great level of trust uh, that was being built between Jamie and us because everything is fact-checked. Jamie has sold her image rights to Hugo Safe, which is a financial literacy company. And while they have been transparent about using a synthetic influencer to front their videos, those who aren't aware might still be fooled. Next week, I continue my investigation into deep fakes. Can I take your order? And it takes me to South Korea, where I discover even more cutting edge deep fake technology. So no one knows that it's really you behind your YouTube channel. And uncover how deep fakes have been embraced by Korean society. Now you think I'm meeting Sarang, but you're wrong.